Hello! Today we're going to create multiple layers so we can paint them separately in Photoshop. One of the reasons to do this is so we can paint a shirt, pants, skirt, hair, etc. separately and this way we can change them later if we get a note from a director or anything like that. So I'm going to start by opening file in my Photoshop Elements. I'm using Photoshop Elements today instead of the Creator Suite 5. And um, I'm going to go to Open. And I'm going to open my file called Silliman DIF. This is the one that I prepped last week by changing the levels and cleaning up the black and white. So here she is. Now one thing you also want to make sure if you go under Windows you have what is called the Undo History um, Interface Box open. Okay, that's going to give you a history of what you're doing with your, with your um, particular image. And you're also going to check that your layers are open over here. If they were and you go under Windows and then you check Layers. Okay? Once that is set, you can start to work. I'm going to place my sketch a little bit more center. And then I'm going to use Command Plus to make the image bigger. Uh, you can also go under View and say Zoom In or Zoom Out. Um, you may realize that there is this sort of... Um, you can see these pixels in here and it's because my background actually is unchecked, it's made invisible. You can make visible or invisible layers by clicking on this little eye, you know, next to the layer itself. So, right now I'm just um, making it invisible so I can do some work. Uh, before I create this new layer, which I'm going to call Outline, right? I have my background and I have a silhouette. So that's how I start. Now I'm going to to create something called the outline which is basically the line drawing um, I want to check a few things first so if I zoom in what I've noticed is I have some leakage here so I'm gonna go this is my color palette down here the, the, the color so I'm gonna use a uh, chart college I'm gonna say okay to that and I'm gonna use my brush um, I can see the diameter, maybe I want it to be a little bit smaller. Okay, right now I'm doing this with the mouse in my computer, okay? You can also use your tablet. I'm just going to close this so when I am um, putting lipstick on here later, if I decide not to use a brush, but just use a um, bucket paint, I can just dump it. I'm also going to close up a little bit more hair over there. And over here, just to make sure that it's not close. That is closed and not open. Now for the eyes, I'm gonna kind of close the eyeliner as well, because I don't want to have leakage later. Even though you can always repair it later with paint. Okay, so she's got a little bit of makeup on already. There we go. All right, I'm gonna undo that. I don't like that line. So you can even go to undo, or you can undo it here. See, I can take my brush. I can go back as many times as I want to to delete what I don't want. Okay, or I can come back forward and then put it back in. Okay, in fact, I'm going to actually switch over to my tablet, which I already have set. Uh, instead of using my mouse, I'm going to use a tablet and see if I can make this line a little bit better. Okay, I can be a little bit more precise. When I use my tablet, I like grabbing the pencil really close to the bottom, which is the same way that I uh, right, and then I make sure that I press uh, with the amount of pressure that I like to use. All right, that's done. Let's uh, see if I need to do anything else. Now I'm switching over to my mouse again, my computer mouse. It can be a little crazy at the beginning, but it's like driving, you get used to it. Um, okay, so this looks all good. I just discovered that there's a little bit section here that I should delete. So I'm going to use the magic one and then press the delete button that's to done i'm gonna press marquee and then just click on the picture so the magic wand stops so what else do i have i think this could be a concern here because of the way the grid is it's for what i need to do so i'm just gonna use the brush kind of open that up a little bit okay i'm just gonna go through it so it's not completely close. Okay, 
yeah, I know it looks like a little, I'm going a little crazy here, but I'm just going to see later when I um, do my uh, deleting of layers, I don't have this thing getting in the way. Okay. All right. So now I'm ready to take the next step. I'm going to uh, make the image smaller by pressing Command minus. Okay. I could also go on their view and I could do a zoom out to make it smaller, right? There we go. Um, what I really want to do now is delete all the white. But before I do that, I'm going to duplicate the image. Okay. I can do that by going to the layer and right click and say duplicate layer. Okay. And this one is going to be called the outline. This is my outline layer. Okay. You can also do that by going on their layer and saying duplicate. Okay. Now that I have this layer, I'm going to be, I'm going to make the silhouette layer invisible and I'm going to go to the outline so it's highlighted and now I'm going to start my delete. I'm going to clear all the white using my magic wand. Okay, so click on the magic wand, delete, okay, click here, delete, click, delete, delete, click, delete, click, and yeah, I just keep going. I'm only dele deleting the white. So you want to be careful that you're not deleting your line drawing. All right. I can also, I want to delete the color. Okay, both sides. Just do the best you can in here. You just go quickly after you practice enough, you get used to it. I'm going to press the shift key and then bring the magic wand to all the things that I want to delete. Okay, as you can see here, I just hit the line. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with my one. So you just need to do the best you can, all right? If it looks like it's a tight spot, don't even bother, leave it alone, all right? I'm gonna try to get this one. Okay, I got that one, this one. I'm gonna get the, the inside the tennis racket and as you can see that worked, right? Looks like I didn't get the um, shoes. There we go. The heel. Okay, now I'm gonna press the delete key. Okay, I have one more spot here. And I'm gonna choose the marquee tool and then press so it stops doing this. Now it looks like I got a pretty good ongoing line here. I can go on their um, image and you can look for the levels. Um, in this case, I'm going to see if it's under lighting because I changed levels. There we go. So I'm going to see if I can darken these guys a little bit maybe. Just trying to... Great. You say okay. All right, so my line drawing now seems pretty good, huh? I can test it by, um, I'm going to gonna zoom out a little bit. And I can test it. Let's say that the skirt was going to be a blue color, like that. I can use my paint bucket and dump it. OK, and as you can see, the line is working just fine. There's no leakage there. And then. We're there now. I don't want to really paint. I'm just testing this out. Uh, what I do want to do eventually is I'm going to zoom out again and make them much smaller. What I do want to do is um, I want to count how many do I need of these layers. I need one for the hair and makeup or the skin, one for the blouse, one for the skirt, one for the belt probably, and one for the shoes. So I need about five layers. So I'm going to now duplicate the layer five times. The first time would be, I'm going to call it hair and makeup. Okay, knowing that that includes the skin, etc. I'm going to now duplicate that one. I'm going to call it blouse. All right, I'm going to now duplicate this one. I'm going to call it skirt. 
Okay, I'm going to duplicate that one and I'm going to call it the boots that she's wearing. Okay, so I got the blouse, the skirt, the boots, and then let's do one for the belt. For the belt. For the so I'm going to duplicate that. Let's layer duplicate. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, three, four, five layers in addition to all the others. The reason why I want to have the silhouette layer saved um, is because I may need to go back to the original drawing to do something different. And I can show you later some of the things that we can do with that, uh, like creating a shadow, etc. Um, we also want to keep a background, so that's the actual sketch. But when we're painting, we want to have them separately. Um, separate because we want to make sure that we can uh, work on each one of these garments uh, at different times because you may be changing them to a print or you may want to keep the same silhouette but maybe you're changing the fabric from one act to the next so this is the way we do it so practice make sure your lines are really strong and uh, take the images from last week to this step uh, we should have in total six images that we're going to work with and preferably they're all from the same show Thank you so much, and this is the class for today about creating multiple layers.